If you are expecting your first baby, this video is for you. Good girls! If you're new to our channel, welcome. My name is Mai. This is Herky, this is Milton, and we are your go-to source for everything Cavalier. I'm really testing out this new setup today. The lighting might be horrible, but in all honesty, it's the only spot in the house that doesn't look like a complete mess. So I wanted to film here. I know it's backlit, but I'm trying out this new mic, so let me know how you're liking this audio. I've been seeing a lot of creators using this method, and I think it's really cool. It's kind of like an ASMR type audio. It just feels like we're really up close and personal. Let me know how you enjoy it. So if we're gonna rewind a bit before getting into the meat of the subject, I had a baby 18 months ago and it's taken me 18 months to come up with this video because once you have a baby, life is just going at 200 miles per hour. It is so crazy. It's really, really insane. It goes insanely fast. It takes up all your time. It is true what they say. You literally don't have time for anything. I've been trying to keep the business afloat as best I can and keep up with the channel with YouTube and Herky the Cavalier. So it's just been a lot. And it's taking me this long to actually sit down and film this video for you. So Herky and Milton are actually excellent dogs and Cavaliers in general, I think will be excellent dogs for first time parents for first-time dog owners but they will also be so good with your first baby and with kids in general they are so patient they are so calm so sweet and they are just incredible with oasis i actually feel bad for them because oasis is so grabby and he's so intense with them we try to teach him every single time he approaches the dogs to go calmly to pet them calmly but you know he is literally an 18 month old so he doesn't know much but we try to do our best to teach him how to approach dogs properly. I'm very proud because every time he comes up to a new dog now, he actually goes like this to their mouth to let them sniff him before he pets them. So that is really, really some great improvement. But this video is all about introducing your dogs to your newborn baby. So the whole process is gonna start a few months before the baby actually comes. So as soon as you find out you're pregnant and everything is okay, you're out of the first trimester and everything is in the clear, I would suggest spending as much time as possible with your dog and with your baby bump. It might seem like something so abstract because your baby is literally the size of a poppy seed, but the more you stroke your belly, you talk to your belly and your dog, you let your dog sniff, you let your dog lie on your stomach, gonna get them more accustomed to knowing that there's something coming. I don't know how intuitive Herky and Milton were, but a lot of people say that they know something is coming and that they know you're carrying something. And the more your bump grows, the more the baby grows inside your stomach, the more your dog can become aware that there is actually something in there. Especially when you start feeling kicks and you start feeling movements, you can let your dog know every time that there's some, something happening. You can let your dog lie on your stomach so they can feel the movement and they can feel the heartbeat even because their hearing is so acute compared to ours. So I would suggest just hanging out on the couch with them as much as possible, like you usually do, even more so than before, and have them feel your stomach. You can stroke your stomach and talk to your stomach and your dog. It'll really create a bond and a sense of pack. Please keep in mind that I'm in no means a dog expert. I'm just sharing my opinion and my experience with you. A few months before the baby comes, you will also probably start shopping for baby items, set up the nursery what, and whatever that might be. We did set up the nursery a few months before a baby's arrival we shop for big items like the crib the stroller and the car seat and when you enter the house with those items let your dog discover everything let them go in the nursery as you're setting it up every time you have new clothes and new toys new accessories related to the baby let your dogs explore it chances are they're gonna want to lie in it they're gonna want to discover it and that is totally fine this is their way of getting accustomed to things i even assembled the crib and i assembled the stroller with herky and milton around and i let milton in the stroller she really loved it you can even go on a walk with the stroller or the car seat to get them accustomed to the fact that there's going to be another giant item on your walks that is a great way to get them accustomed to it i didn't take the girls on a stroll with the stroller but that is a great suggestion i just let the girls sniff around it and sit in the stroller but only in the house 
Another thing you can do a few months before baby's arrival is hang out with your dogs in the nursery. I remember at the end of my pregnancy, all I wanted to do was sit in the nursing chair, which is the most comfortable chair in the world. I have the dream swivel from Pottery Barn. I'm gonna link it in the description box below if you're interested, but it is so comfortable. It's not only good for nursing, and now that I'm done nursing, finally, after 18 months, I can't wait for that chair to be somewhere else, maybe in the basement, somewhere else to hang out because it is so comfortable. It's legit like a big cloud. It swivels, it reclines, it's amazing and one of the reasons why I love that recliner is because it glides and it's not like an actual uh, rocking chair because I'm, I'm terribly afraid of traditional rocking chairs with dog paws and dog tails so it was important to me that it's something that glides which is why I really love that chair the fabric is also super sturdy and the color is just amazing for any nursery decor it's very neutral colors and it's very sturdy fabrics highly suggest you look into that chair if you're in you're on the market for a nursing chair so yes, at the end of my pregnancy, I just wanted to hang out on that chair with Milton. Milton would always come, Herky too, of course. It's a super comfortable little couch, so they would always hang out with me in the nursery. I also had a huge carpet on the floor, which is a fluffy ruggable, and they would always hang out in there. So it gets them really accustomed to that new environment. And you know that dogs are creatures of habit, so it's important to create a pattern and a routine for them. Okay, now on the day of the meeting of your dog and the baby. For us, how it worked is that Herky and Milton were at a sitter and then the sitter brought the dogs back home. So I was already home, Andy was already home, and the baby was already there too. So what I did was we put the baby in a bassinet on the floor and I was right beside the bassinet. And as soon as Herky and Milton walked into the door, they walked over to the bassinet and to me, they sniffed everything and I kept petting the baby and saying, baby, baby. And then just to make them feel like this is our baby, it's part of our pack now. And I let Herky and Milton sniff and discover the baby. Another way you can do it is sit and stand holding the baby and let the dog approach you. If you're holding the baby, it kind of lets them know that this is yours. This is now part of the family because you're holding it. So you're letting your dog know that this is now Ours. If you're okay with it, the dog will probably lick. And it's really funny because um, newborns are very sensitive to everything. Like they're fresh out of the womb. They've been in water for literally almost 10 months. So everything can be an irritant for them. Like when they first come out, their, their skin has never been even exposed to oxygen. So they really have to get acclimated to everything. And I remember when Herky and Milton came up to him and they licked him, that spot that they licked became red immediately. <laughs> and I felt really bad, but it does go away super fast. But it was also very important to me to let them know that they can approach the baby safely when we are around. And so that is for the first day. They seem pretty indifferent to the baby. They just wanted to sniff and know what it is they went away they went to do their own thing they were much more happy to see me and Andy to be honest so another important point is that you don't want to force the interaction let your dog do the guiding it's a dog led process you don't want to force the interaction just let them go at their own pace if they don't want anything to do with the baby that is fine in the upcoming days you'll probably be with the baby all the time so you can just keep introducing the baby to your dog by holding it, by letting your dog approach. I remember putting the bassinet up on a stand and Milton was so curious about the baby. It was the most adorable thing ever. She always wanted to follow me. She was super curious about the baby. I even put a chair up to the bassinet and she would actually stand there and just stare at the baby. It was the sweetest thing. And every time I would nurse the baby afterwards, because let's be honest, you're gonna nurse like 10 times a day. So you're always gonna be with the baby on the nursing chair and Milton would always come up to us. And Oasis was so tiny at that time that I, I could actually fit Milton. And then sometimes Herky would go at my feet too. So I don't know if they're just possessive of me, if they're possessive of the baby, if they're just growing accustomed to the new routine, but all in all, I just found it was adorable. And although I did feel like I was spending less time with Herky and Milton because I didn't have as much time to go walk them and to do activities with them, I did feel like we were always together and we still are always together because they were with me when I was nursing, with the baby. We're just all together all the time, 24 seven. So it was really sweet and it really created a bond with all of us. With the overnight situation, Herky and Milton always slept on the bed. So I made sure that they kept sleeping on the bed. For the first few weeks, Oasis was sleeping in a bassinet right next to uh, me or beside Andy. And at some point, just because newborns are hard, we eventually put the bassinet between me and Andy in the bed because we have 
a king bed. So Herky and Milton would just sleep a bit lower on the bed, but they were always on the bed. So you should just be, always be conscious of not changing your dog's routine drastically because they will feel it because they are creatures of habit and they don't want to feel replaced. So always make sure that their routine is as stable and as similar as it was before. Just be conscious also that they might want to exit the room and they might on their own want to change the routine because the baby cries and the baby is going to be up all night honestly it's probably going to disturb their sleep schedule so if they they are showing signs that they want to go outside or that they want to go to the couch they want to go to the living room make sure that you respect their boundaries as well oasis cried a lot and i could feel that at night Hurricane and milton didn't quite like it they didn't show me signs that they wanted to exit but if they wanted to go in another room i always offered it to them so those are my tips and tricks on how we introduced Herky and Milton to baby Oasis. He is now 18 months old, full toddler mode, and we could not be happier with our trio of kids. We absolutely love them and we are having an absolute blast. Herky and Milton are still very much a priority to us and we do our best to maintain their schedule and their routine as best we can. So that's gonna be it for our video. If you liked it, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave us a comment. I always love interacting with you guys. And if you want daily updates, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and on TikTok. And that's gonna be it for now. We love you guys and we'll see you soon. Bye.